Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Blue Ox six-way round vehicle and connector plug. Uh, with that said, you know, this is gonna make a great replacement <clears throat> um, connector plug, because a lot of times what can happen um, is with these being plastic, you know, they're, they're pretty heavy duty, but I mean, it is what it is. So here we have a very similar connector plug. This is the Roadmaster one that was originally installed. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, they hit something that, you know, was sitting a little bit low and it cracked. So it's only a matter of time once you get a crack in there before it starts to really come apart, especially the way that our neighbor uses theirs today. You know, they do a lot of flat tone, so it sees a lot of use. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be replacing it with our uh, Blue Ox one here. But before we get to that, why don't we just kind of check this out a little bit. So generally speaking, these are going to be used on a lot of flat toe applications. It's not to say that they can't be used for other things, but uh, this is where you see a lot of them, you know, just like our setup here today on our Jeep. And when it comes to the connector plug, I mean, it's right on par with a lot of the other similar ones. You know, it feels good in your hands, relatively thick plastic. The lid is actually really tight, spring-loaded, so it'll stay closed when you're not using it, keep all the debris and stuff from getting in there. Uh, there are metal ones like this available as well, so if that's something that piques your interest, that's, uh, you can always check those out. There's a little finger catch there, so you've got something to grab to open it up, and a catch inside of the lid too, that way when you put your wiring connector in there, it'll catch it. And prevent it from getting accidentally pulled out which i do think is pretty important on a flat toe setup you know i could see that happening without that there honestly uh the terminals inside look nice i mean it's a pretty nice piece actually everything's uh pretty well put together feels good in your hand um and if we flip it around to the back here's all of our terminals where our wires are going to get plugged into and there's going to be several you know so you have your ground, your left turn, your right turn, uh, an auxiliary, your taillight signal, and then another auxiliary, I guess you caught right there in the middle. And so typically, generally speaking, that's all you're really gonna need. Um, you know, all your taillight and all your light signals, and then a lot of times you use the middle one for a charge line, if that's what you're, um, if, that's set, if that's a setup you have on your vehicle. And then you'll usually have an additional pin here that you can use for whatever calls for a lot of times you won't use it sometimes people that have the invisibrake braking system use this uh, for their indicator light on their motorhome so there's some instances where you use the last one but not many but hey you know my thought is i'd rather have it and not need it than the other way around the plug's also going to come with this rubber uh, dust boot too that slides on it just to help keep stuff protected sealed up and they give you a couple of self-tapping screws too to mount this up to your base plate. So, I mean, pretty straightforward, not a whole lot to it. And at the end of the day, this is gonna be a good option for those of you looking to just replace your uh, busted uh, six-way connector plug. Or I do know some diode wiring kits don't come with a connector plug. So this is an option too, if you're gonna be installing uh, everything new. Uh, aside from that, that's really about it. Uh, since we are replacing our old one today anyway, I uh, figured why not just kind of show you how to do that. And if you're interested in, in uh, learning, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and do that together now. So I went ahead and got five out of the six wires hooked up already because, I mean, it's all the same, right? Before you hook any of them up, though, take your rubber dust cover, put it over your wiring. That way, when we have them done, you can slide that over. So what you're going to do, take the bare end of your wire here and just strip the insulation back about like that should work twist those wires up and then you're just going to put the wire in the appropriate terminal and they are labeled we'll go over those in a second the white wire is a ground so that'll be the terminal labeled gd you just simply back the set screw out quite a bit try not to take it all the way out because it's kind of a pain to get back in you slide that wire down in there and then simply just tighten this down. So really not a whole lot to it here. The terminals are labeled, like I said, they might be kind of tricky to see on camera here, but we have uh, RT for right turn. So your green wire goes there. 
LT for left turn, so yellow wire there. Obviously the GD's ground that we just did. TM, which is uh, tail lights, so the brown wire will go to it. And like I talked about, the center one is a charge line wire, if you have that. And then this one, uh, I put a, a length of blue wire in it. It's not actually getting connected to anything. It's just a bare wire, maybe a foot or too long. That way, if we do end up eventually in the future needing to hook something up to it, we don't have to take this all back apart because we are going to put some sealer and stuff in here. We'll be able to just connect to the end of the wire. So kind of just uh, what we like to do um, in case in the future if you want to add something. But with all these hooked up, now we can grab some sealer and get our cap on and everything else. So I'm going to put some sealer in here and this will just help protect the uh, terminals from corrosion. You can grab some of this at e-trailer. Uh, dielectric grease can work too just honestly something's better than nothing because a lot of times uh, this is kind of the number one thing that you run into issues with is corrosion back here so this will keep it uh, keep the terminals in good shape we got them pretty good like that slide our cover over it and then I'll just kind of backfill this whole thing as well here Way no moisture or anything uh, goes inside and with that done I'll grab some tape seal this up and then we'll mount it so I'll use my electrical tape there taped it on up now I'm gonna take my bolts or the self tappers they give you to secure it to our base plate you know with these since you're putting it in steel a lot of times I'll just take a little bit of anti seize put it on the threads that way they don't rust you know, uh, super bad and make it really difficult to undo it in the future if we ever have to. And just get these ringing in. Careful not to tighten these up too tight because with this being plastic, obviously, if you run it down super hard, it will probably uh, damage it. So just get it snug. And that's really all there is to it. And that will finish up our look at of the Blue Ox six-way round trailer connector plug.